thankful to get into one college. I've been out of my head, can't get out of bed, too much on my Hey you guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name's Ashley. As you can tell, I'm not in my room. I'm actually in a hotel room because I'm here for my cousin's wedding, so that's pretty fun. And of course, I got my pink drink earlier because it's me, let's be honest. So I thought today I would make a video about how I got into Notre Dame or really just going over my common app that I submitted to Notre Dame. I did want to make a few disclaimers. Um, prestige of college really doesn't matter, and I feel like if you're an underclassman, you're really really not going to think that but I think once you kind of get to be a senior and you apply to college you'll realize you're just thankful to get into one college also I could literally apply again next year and not get in and I have no idea why that is and that really leads me into my next point that I don't really know why I got in I can really speculate and I definitely think there are things in my application that Notre Dame probably liked which is which are the reason that I got in but I never really know the why so keep that in mind. This is really just speculation. Another thing, I really debated on making these videos just because I feel like college admissions are very toxic. And I know when I used to watch these videos, I used to compare myself to everyone and I would get really depressed. So please don't watch these videos and even compare yourself to me because really it's not a fair comparison. We're not the same person. We don't live the same life. Think of this video more as like a reference point. Okay, so let's begin. Let's go into my background first. So I'm Indian. I went to a public high school with a graduating class of around 500 in a suburb of Texas. I'm not a legacy student, so no one in my family went to Notre Dame. And I'm also Catholic. I just thought I'd mention this just because Notre Dame is a Catholic school. So in case that really impacted my decision, thought I'd say it. Now let's go into some of my stats. My weighted GPA was a 5.1. My unweighted GPA was a 3.9. I'm not gonna read all my grades out loud, so I'll just put all of my grades on the screen. So my brain forgot it good, can't complain. It's like I'm losing my mind, and time's hard to find. What's a girl gotta do? So I only really showed you my grades for freshman, sophomore, and junior year because I applied early action. So Notre Dame only saw my freshman, sophomore, and junior year grades. They didn't see my senior year grades. Okay, I love how this camera just stopped filming. All right, I'm back. So I didn't have to show any of my senior year grades. And if I'm gonna be honest, my senior year grades were lower just because I took a lot more AP classes. And for me, the classes were a lot more difficult. So if I'm gonna be honest, my senior year grades did go down. I did not send any of my AP scores. I'd say my all my AP scores were good, but they weren't great. So I was just like, they're not like amazing. So let's not send them. And and I didn't send my SAT score again kind of the same thing my SAT score was good not great so I did apply test optional now let's move on to the activities section of the common app to me I think this was probably one of my strongest parts of my application and I'm gonna list them in order of the order that I put them on the common app um, but I will be blurring out or blacking out all the personal information okay so the first activity that I put was being a member of the my mayor's youth advisory council i was about to save the city that i live in probably shouldn't do that i was basically selected to be a youth advisory council member by the mayor and his staff i'm pretty sure with other kids in my school district i got to have about nine meetings with the mayor and we got to learn about different aspects of our city and then at the end we presented a development project um to the mayor and the city council and that was really fun i actually said the introduction so that was that's definitely not something that i'll forget like it's recorded on my city website and stuff which is really cool and i just learned a lot about local politics and what's really important to a city which is the budget for my city like that they talked about that so much the next activity that i did that i put on my common app was I was a marketing and development intern for Catholic Charities. I got this internship through another program. I don't wanna say the name just because you kinda know what city that I live in, but I had to go through like two or three rounds of interviews 
and we had to rank the internships that we wanted and this was my first choice so the fact that i was able to get this i was like beyond excited um so i ended up getting 180 service hours i learned a lot of things like i learned how to update a wordpress website i learned how to digitize volunteer applications and then i just did like random other activities like i learned about design pickle canva um a lot of like random things so uh, my next activity was i was a member of the high school democrats of america expansion committee i think that on my application it says i was like one of 15 kids chosen but i think by the time it was over it was like one out of 17 so I don't know i thought that was pretty cool so the goal of this committee the expansion committee was to expand into socioeconomically disadvantaged communities the next activity that i put on my common app was i created a volunteer website called volunteen my freshman year of high school i was volunteering for like different things in my city and all my friends were like oh my gosh i didn't know there were volunteer opportunities in our city just because we live in the suburbs so usually whenever we'd have to to volunteer we would have to go into like the like a larger city that's like 45 minutes away from us so i basically made that website and i put a lot of different like volunteer opportunities in it and it actually ended up being published in my school yearbook which is pretty cool the next activity that i put was being a content creator on youtube which is pretty funny but yeah so at the time it's i put 9700 subscribers 1 million channel views 6200 watch hours and then I put like the amount of money that I earned at the time that I like submitted this application. Next, I talked about this in one of my other videos, but I was a nonprofit representative for NHS. So basically, um, I was helping facilitate a food drive between my school's NHS and this nonprofit. So I basically communicated between both supervisors, like the leader of the nonprofit and the teacher in charge of NHS, and I would basically be like, "Okay, we want to do a food drive at our school. What donations are like a priority?" And then I would basically tell my supervisor and we would get all that approved and then I would end up talking to the nonprofit leader and be like, "Okay, we're doing a food drive these days. Where would you like to drop off all this stuff so that's basically what I ended up doing there was supposed to be a junior and a senior representative but the junior representative ended up moving so I actually ended up doing like facilitating the food drive by myself basically but it's okay I was pretty stressed out those few days but it's, it's okay the next activity that I put was I was a video editor for a nonprofit so I basically created like promotional videos for this nonprofit, I can't tell you what the nonprofit is just because that's a lot of per personal information. But um, yeah, I just created a video, like I edited a video. That's basically what I did, and then I like um, organized photos and yeah. <sighs> okay, so my next activity was I was a teen volunteer coordinator for a nonprofit. That's a really fancy title, but basically there would be events where we would make sandwiches or snacks for a local either shelter or food bank, and what I would do is I would basically give people instructions so okay make sure each table has napkins and mustard and whatever and then I would go help count and then like so I did a lot of different things during the event so yeah I basically ended up getting that title I was in charge of giving people like instructions about like a certain way that all the food had to be made just to meet like the standards for the food bank or shelter yeah it's like a fancy title but that's basically what I did um okay so my other activity was I was a Catholic Church student aid again I'm gonna black out the church that I go to but basically what I did was it's sort of like a teacher's helper where all the kids would be learning about like we call it faith formation if you're Catholic I don't really know I, I don't know if like other denominations use that but it's basically Sunday school so they would like have a lesson and I would just help during the lesson like a teacher's helper basically yeah I have so many stories from that oh my gosh kids kids are interesting we'll just say that and the last activity that i put on my common app was as an intern and fellow for a camp for a congress campaign so i i'm gonna be honest this was like one of the first like big things that i did 
and I learned a lot a lot um, a lot of what I did was like very like tedious so we would have lists of like information and we would have to make sure that the phone numbers and the emails were legit and not fake and a lot like majority of what i did was a spreadsheet of phone numbers and emails like oh my gosh that took so long and then we also phone banked but yeah those were all my activities on my common app now let's move on to my awards. I really didn't have a lot of awards. So in ninth grade, I got an all-star academic award, which was basically like, I just had straight A's and I only had that my freshman year. So keep that in mind. <laughs> in 11th grade, I got the AP Scholar Award, which the AP Scholar Award is like, if you get like a certain average for like a few APs, I don't even know what it is. I'll put it on the screen. I don't really think it's that big of a deal though. In 11th grade, I got a blank star award i had to blank it out because it's the name of my teacher and it's basically where you're like a student of the month essentially um so basically like my teacher recognized me in class because i was like very involved and i asked a lot of questions so that was kind of cool and that was one of my favorite teachers my ap lang teacher from junior year so that was 11th grade and then the last award that i put was the presidential volunteer service award which i got this for my catholic charities marketing and development internship because i got like 180 service hours and through the program i did it through i ended up getting the presidential volunteer service award and I got that in 12th grade so those were really all the awards that I got but in the common app they're listed as honors if you guys want to hear my Notre Dame supplemental essays please comment down below I totally don't mind making a video reading them that'll probably be my next video actually but yeah I hope you guys enjoyed if you did please like and subscribe and comment down any other videos you guys want to see and I'll see you guys next time bye to catch a break up.